Well, here you go. Walking just one more minute a day. Think about this for a second. Can have a positive impact on your mental health. Research shows you do not have to run a marathon. That's good. Or take a tough fitness class to see results. That simply just moving around your house can help you fight loneliness and depression, and it can also promote happiness. This is all explained in a brand new book. It's called The Joy of Movement, How Exercise Helps Us Find Happiness, Hope, Connection, and Courage. It's written by psychologist Kelly McGonigal, and she joins us at the table. Hey, Kelly McGonigal, because you say that this book is a love letter to movement of all forms. Why? Because you love humans. And I thought, I love humans, too. <laughs> and so after you were doing all the research, you would say, people are incredible. I just love them. Yeah. But this is what struck me about you. You said that exercise can make you a better version of yourself. What do you mean by that? Yes, so this really works in two ways. One, we know that when you're active, when you get your heart rate up, when you use your muscles, it changes your brain chemistry in a way that makes you more hopeful and optimistic and better able to connect with others. For me, I experience it as making me braver and better able to handle stress. Braver, how? Yeah, well, you yeah. know, so my natural temperament is super anxious, uh -huh. and um, but when I work out, I, I find that I can actually handle challenges better. I just feel like I can take on the world. So this actually combats depression Absolutely. and loneliness. And loneliness and anxiety and can help people recover from, from grief and trauma. I mean, the research is really clear. And you know, you mentioned, I said that I love people. I heard so many stories that were really inspiring about people who were able to move forward because they found a form of movement that made them feel differently about themselves and what they were capable of. When you talk about movement, what do you mean? Yes. Anything using your body to engage with life. So it could be exercise like running or walking. It could be dancing and dancing in your living room with your kids. It could be gardening. It could be power lifting and sensing your own strength. But I, you know, movement is really about using our bodies in order to connect with others, to do things that matter. Mm -hmm. I think, um, and many of us experience that in exercise, but right. it's what we're You're we not were talking for. about running a marathon, though, necessarily. It can, it can be, be. I mean, but it doesn't have to be. It does be. not have to be. I mean, yeah. you can get a runner's high from walking with your dog. Um, and you can also do any form of movement that has meaning or purpose to you. For some people, it'll be running a marathon. You, you write that movement releases, and I love this phrase, a hope molecule. Yeah. Yes. I like that too, yeah. Tony. What this is, a is hope an molecule? amazing finding that you Kelly, move your necklace. It's hitting oh. your mic. Yeah, so it's yeah. making a lot of noise. Yeah, just turn it around. Okay, um, people to hear what you're saying. Yeah, so when you exercise, your muscles actually secrete chemicals into your bloodstream mm -hmm. that work like an antidepressant. So every time you exercise any form at all and you use your muscles, you're giving yourself an intravenous dose of hope. You said physical accomplish accomplishments can change how you think about yourself. Yeah. You said all of us have a, a tough mutter in us, a high terror, low horror thing, not me. <gasps> And everybody has that holy bleep moment where they think, I can't do it, and then I do. Yeah, and so, you know, for some people, it is like a tough mutter where you're jumping off some high plank into a pit of water. Um, for some people like me, it's learning how to do a headstand mm -hmm. and to go upside down and face that fear. But people that don't like exercise, because I really do hate it, I, but I don't want to be a fatty McFat fat, and I want to be healthy. But I just really don't like it. So for people who don't like it, what do you say to those yeah. people? I would what say do do? Um, if you value exercise, you want the benefits of exercise, yeah. pair it with something that you already love. So you and I were talking about music. Yeah. And the right yes. playlist can make almost yes. anything more so enjoyable. Um, pair it with people you care about. Do it in a place that inspires you, like spend time exercising outdoors. Um, do it with a purpose. So one of the groups I write about in the book, Good Gym, mm -hmm. they actually meet up as a community in their neighborhood they run a couple miles to do a community service project, and then they run back and have dinner. I mean, there really is a way to like integrate that. movement into your life. So and you just said movement is natural. Even newborns, you said 48 hours out of the womb, womb they can detect a beat. Yeah, I mean, you do yeah. see kids just joyfully dancing. Yes. Who can't even walk, who are just yeah. moving to a beat. Yeah, they call that groove. It's the yeah, instinct groove. to move to music. And again, it's hardwired in us. And there are a lot of joys of movement that are like so, that. So, you know, you're not getting the runner's high when you <laughs> exercise? No, no. <laughs> I'm just, let me get through it. But your enthusiasm is infectious, and I like that. Thank you very much, Kelly McGonigal, for joining us again. The Joy of Movement is on sale now wherever you like to buy your books.